Tule man, he's likable. How <laughs> did I hit so many of those diamonds? Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to me lowering the volume. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates <laughs> Mega Man 9. Almost said mighty number 9. <coughs> now let's go to Jewel Man first, cause uh, Tornado Man was uh, showcased on the trailer. We're a fucking riot, right? Jewel Man stage was one of the stages that gave me most trouble, I think, just after Tornado Man, when I started playing the game. Nowadays, though, not a huge issue. Love the graphics, uh, nice purple, something that we haven't seen yet on an official Mega Man game. Well, we have seen purple, but we haven't seen <laughs> something this purple. Add diamonds to the mix. And you got a nice theme going here. Relentless uh, enemy here, coming down with the Mets. Not coming down with the sickness, of course, that's a different thing. Met placements in this stage are okay. For some reason, that guy's back from uh, Concrete Mass stage. They kind of fit the team, though, so if you are developing your own fan game and you're thinking about what enemies to bring back on what stages, well, just think about the team and if they, if they fit there or not, and uh, that's your answer. In this case, they do fit this team, so I think that's just fine. Bit of a recycle there, but... Yeah, it fits. I can't really say anything against it. Maybe I would have colored this different from the other stage. But then, that would have given the assumption that they might work differently. Who knows, maybe that's alright. This stage has a lot of small things that you are supposed to hit. And sometimes... It just gets overwhelming when there's so much going on. You have to be going pretty slowly here if you want to have any kind of success. For uh, casual players anyway. Got more of these spiders, I like them. They drop uh, down when you get close. And just uh, two shots kills them. That one you can get rid of like that. For the most part, Tube Mass stage is okay. What comes to uh, its mechanics, placements, and enemies, I think it's a pretty fine job. It could have used some more original enemies. I I think all of the things we've seen so far, except the smalling little spike things, everything else is recycled. I would have hoped for some kind of cave-like enemies, because we are in a cave full of diamonds. Maybe something like that would have been fun. So if you indeed kill yourself there, that's uh, before the mini-boss, you have to start over. Checkpoint in this stage can be relentless, according to some people. But hey, get good. That's what the kids say nowadays anyway. Get good. That helps. That's a piece of advice I would always go by. Just get good. That's something that helps out new players. Anyway. Not too, not too hard when you know your way around the stage. And the game. Love the sound effects. Love the sound effects the spiders make. When they jump. So here's a mechanic. Can't die trying this out. Or well, well you can if you're a total dumbass. But, what a good way to introduce new mechanics. Over a harmless <laughs> spine. And then you gotta jump over some pits with it. I'm just showcasing the easiest way, just go back and forth enough times until you reach the peak and then... Master it, I suppose. This is something that people hate, this part here. Yeah, kinda tricky. I would actually not change this, it's a good challenge. You could add another tile under me, like under here. You could add another piece of flooring here, but then the challenge would be uh, negated there completely. I think that's just fine. So, 
first time you will not know where this guy comes down from. But now, if you look at the top, little uh, crumbly parts come down. That's, that's your cue as to where this guy comes down from. Very difficult to avoid the uh, rocks at times. They can just be in such a pattern where you just have to go back and forth too much and you just end up getting hit. But at least there's some clues as to where he is. Yeah, like that. That's nearly impossible to avoid. I'm not sure if it is possible. It probably is. But that's so, uh, so rough. Uh, you'll most likely take damage there. Mashing is your friend. He doesn't have any iframes. Checkpoint is right here. What weapons did we get last time? The Hornets. I should showcase them here. Nice. Bringing me energy and such. After the kills. One of my favorite weapons of all time. If you haven't seen my weapons video, go check it out. This room is just fine. I like it. Another uh, pit where you would kill yourself at. Checkpoint is closed though, so not a huge uh, sin. But still. Dick moves. Dick moves. And not all of the pits have those. So it's like, yeah, just have a guess. Another one of these challenges, it's fine, it's kind of the theme of the game. Or the theme of the stage, rather. And here is where you would actually uh, benefit from the Hornets. Like that. Shame, uh, shame this game doesn't have a quick switch. Something that Mega Man 10 fixed. A lot of these screens, uh, they just flow nicely, there's not much to say. I just wanted to do that. And I think the uh, stage plays well around the mechanics. Really, like I said, not much to say here. Everything is uh, nice, everything works. No bad placements to, uh, from what I can see. And the last challenge, a big eye. Everything just works. I think this stage is a fine example of a core Mega Man stage and what it is supposed to be. Those trial and error uh, pits, uh, ups and downs, kind of suck though. But. It introduced mechanics for you, and you just had to get good. And once you uh, understood how those mechanics worked, well then you pretty much uh, go through the stage. Chill Man has a couple of patterns that he will fling those diamonds in. Um, he jumps when you jump, so that's something you can do. So you can just control his jump like this, if you so desire, and it's pretty much required anyway. I think uh, Jewel Man is pretty nice. Of course, if you shoot him, the diamonds come after you if you hit them. It's nice you can still get get uh, shots in there. So it's uh, well uh, developed, I think, because you can hit both him and the shield. Precisely depending on where you hit him. That's nice. I think Jewel Man. Uh, fun boss. Uh, again, could have had something else to him. He's just going left and right and pretty much nothing else. He could have had another move, I suppose. Well, that's something to criticize. A bit simple, but yet very likable, because uh, everything, el everything else around him is pretty nice. The things he does feel premium, and that that's the reason why Jewel Man is likable. <laughs> How did I hit so many of those diamonds? I just don't know. Very likable stage, in my opinion. Can feel a little bit off, but... For the most part, I do like it. A bit crowded sometimes with those small enemies. Could have had some more... Could have had more... Uh, could have had more enemies to do with the theme. Some kind of uh, jewel or diamond enemies. Instead of just recycling so many uh, other enemies from other stages, I guess. That's one thing we can mention here. Tornado Man. One of the harder uh, stages in the game for sure. Just like Plug Man, Tornado Man stage is relentless when it comes to pits. This is something that you just have to practice and... If I'm still uh, having the micro stutters, well there's not much I can do, I have no idea what co what's causing that. Used to work, doesn't anymore, don't know why. In any case, I love this. Again, introducing the enemy to us. I love it. Mega Man 9 does a phenomenal job of introducing mechanics and enemies to you. 
It even gives you platforms to practice it and how it works. I like that. So depending on where you hit that enemy, it's gonna behave differently. Mets are back. Nice placement, shot doesn't get you there. And another mechanic that you have to learn to master this stage. Hmm. Never liked these. Still don't. Because never implies I'll never will. So if you just stay there, you go around it like this. If you press if you press the jump button when you're facing down, you'll just fall down. If you press the jump button when you're facing up, you'll jump. And if you're at the back, you'll fall back down again. What I always do is I keep jumping on them like this, because I don't want to go around. I don't want to do that, because that's uh, that takes away the control from me. I just don't like those platforms. There should have been another way to implement them. Another way to create challenge. These platforms are just not likable. I don't even know what they are. What is that supposed to be? Some kind of a magnet or something? I don't know. It's so strange. Don't, I don't have any idea what these are supposed to be. But right at the start, it throws you in this challenge that you have to uh, learn. If you don't, you're dead. Not, not my favorite stage from the game. I think they tried a bit too hard here. Uh, not likable. I. Those platforms uh, should have been thought out better. And that's not even over yet. Shield attacker, very well placed. Doesn't go over the spikes either. That's a nice job there. And the graphics are lovely. This gives you time to uh, react to their patterns and see where they will go. Mega Man 9 is a lot about taking your time. If you uh, hurry too much, you will get killed. Because a lot of this is just uh, looking where to go and how to do it. Nice placement for the Cho. As well. And here's another challenge based on it. A couple of more things to worry about. Of course, you can get the screw as well. If you're impatient, this screen will annoy, will annoy you. Let's see if we can get that with the uh, concrete shot. Yes, indeed. Love it. So here's where the game kind of drops the ball. I'm not sure if there's a... There's something up there. Yep, something was up there, definitely. So there's a secret there. That's a fun trick. Not so fun is the fact that... Well, first thing here. How are you supposed to know there's something behind the cloud? You can actually step on that. Other thing, you can't even see what you're trying to avoid. They should somehow like showcase their eyes or something through the clouds. This section is extremely relentless. Sometimes you just make a full jump and you just drop down because you didn't see the umbrella. Because they can get to that spot before you even realize that. You might not even see them go behind the clouds and then they just suddenly pop out and you're like, damn. And this platform here, you have to be on the right side of it, otherwise you can't make this jump here. It's extremely uh, a relentless stage. Something you just have to learn like that. Not a fan of this, uh, this stage, to be honest. It's challenging, yes, but at the same time, it's kind of... It plays around mechanics that you're you're not gonna even see coming. Like there, I almost got killed for no reason. And here, this is the famous spot right here. People just get killed there because they don't even see the uh, umbrella coming down. That's unfair challenge, you don't, you're, you're not gonna see that. Of course, the signs were there. You should probably go a bit slower because you're never gonna know when the umbrellas are gonna come down, but at the same time, that's uh, that kind of challenge I don't like. What comes to Tornado Man, though? Likeable uh, Robot Master, actually, one of the better ones in the game, if you ask me. Easy to learn, hard to master, I suppose. I'm not very good at that. It's uh, kind of easy to know miss though, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood. As you can see, I'm not very good today. I just suck at this today. He will land on your location, so you just have to keep moving in order to avoid that. If you just keep walking though, he'll miss you every time, but good luck, good luck uh, walking straight when uh, he's in your way or something else is blocking you. 
Tornado Man though is really fun, I think. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see how many times we get hit if we really concentrate on this. I just suck at this fight. You just wanna stay close. A lot of the uh, robot masters in Mega Man 9 are are a bit like that, where you, you kinda wanna stay close instead of uh, going far far away from them. It's kinda how the uh, robot masters are built. Oh, got hit there. It's one hit. Not too bad yet. So we got hit once. Uh, Tornado Man is pretty lovely, if you ask me. So, uh, well done, Robot Master, and the spikes at the top add some challenge to it. So it's uh, a modified Robot Master room, which I don't usually like, but th here it, I think it works kind of well. Well, if you agreed on what I said, leave a like. If you disagreed, feel free to leave a dislike. I'll catch you next time.